Hello, this is Sammy from Invest Excel. This is a short introduction to what I think is a really cool tool. It's called Downloader Excel. It's an Excel add-in that lets you import financial data from the internet straight into your Excel spreadsheet. So you can do things like import historical prices for stocks, mutual funds and indices across a number of international exchanges. You can import historical forex rates, financial futures, commodity prices, delayed option prices and so on. It's an add-in so it's installed into the add-ins menu. So let's take a look at the tool in action. It's relatively simple to use. It's mostly point and click. So there are several tabs for entering tickers and specifying financial data sources. You can also change the date range over which you want your data imported. There are charting preferences and there are general tool preferences as well. So let's just start off by importing some uh, historical uh, stock prices for Microsoft and Google. So I've already entered the stock ticker for Microsoft. Let's insert the stock ticker for Google and let's try BHP from the ex uh, Australian exchange as well. So we're going to import dates, open prices, high prices, lows, closes, the trading volume and the adjusted close as well. The tool will draw a chart for us as well. Let's just check the dates over which we want the data. So we're going from August the 2nd to the 24th of October. Uh, that's August last year to October this year. And these are my charting preferences. So we'll have a candlestick plot and we'll add a trend line as well. So we'll just keep it as a 14 day moving average. So as soon as I click on download data the tool wears off to the internet, imports the data for the three tickers I've specified and draws some charts. You can see everything being performed in the background. So here we are. All of the data is imported into separate tabs for BHP from the Australian Exchange, Google and Microsoft. So the charts are just standard Excel charts so you can modify them with the standard Excel layout tools for charting. Now there's a wide range of data that you can import. You can also import commodity futures as well. So let's go back to the tool and let's see if we can import some commodity futures. For commodity prices we simply select this data source and then type in the appropriate tickers for our chosen commodities. Now I'm just going to go to the developers web page. It's a great web page by the way, it tells you all about the tool and here are some ticker symbols for commodity prices. So we've got things like coffee, cocoa, heating oil, natural gas prices as well as corns, oats, rough rights, soy meal and so on. Um, I'm just going to pick say copper so let me just type that ticker symbol here I think that was HG and let's pick something else as well let's pick uh, wheat, KW And as soon as I click on download data, again, the tool goes off to the internet and it ports my data for me. So here I have my wheat prices and here I have my copper prices as well. It's a simple tool to use. You can import lots of financial data. I'd recommend spending some time on the developer's website it tells you all about the tool. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for listening.